Hey there guys, it's 45 here. Got another pickup video for you uh, guys today. Got a whole bunch of PS2 games and one PS1 game. Kind of odd in a lot. We actually ended up picking up about 49 uh, PS2 games. We ended up spending 40 bucks on it. It was really good. We're, we really jumped on that whenever we uh, got the opportunity. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on some of these pickups. So sh showing them off a little bit. Now first, the first thing that we got was uh, Monopoly for the PS1 Green Label. Uh, we always had this um, on the PC that I played whenever we were younger. Um, you know, just really fun to play was with a couple guys. Um, start with, I guess, worst first. Got Golden Compass. Uh, it's about a dollar a game. <laughs> it's not much. We already had it, um, but usually it's just something to throw in, in a lot of games or whatever. And we got Starfighter, um, Star Wars Starfighter. Uh, we already had that. A lot, like, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is put a bunch of these up for sale on eBay. Try and recoup that $40 we got so we can get, basically get a bunch of games for free. Uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, Greatest Hits, um, complete. Yeah, we already have that one, so uh, resale. Like, um, these next four are all ones for resale. We got Extermination, not complete. Just the disc. And I uh, got Dragon Ball Z Budokai. First one. Complete and in really good shape. And next in the line, we got Budokai 2. Right, also in really good shape. All these Dragon Ball games are really good. And Budokai 3. There. Complete. Really happy to see all those. Um, this I can get probably fetch a pretty good amount of money for those. Kind of maybe even get all almost all the money that we uh, spent back on that. Also, uh, Enter the Matrix, various hits, uh, not complete. I can't remember if we took the manual out and put it in the other one, but some of them uh, we just took. Um, we didn't have them complete before. We just took the manuals out and exchanged them. Now another an interesting one from Crave Entertainment. But ugly Martians, Zoom or Doom? It's complete. It's kind of like a funny, funny uh, Mario Kart clone, kind of. Maybe also kind of like cla Crash Team Racing or whatever. And some Disney stuff. Uh, Disney Golf, complete. And Matrix. Path of Neo. I don't think we, we did not have this when we had the first, the original Enter the Ma or we Enter the Matrix actually for the PS2 and the GameCube. Now we got Armored Core 3. Um, not complete, unfortunately. And got Yu-Gi-Oh Capsule Monster Coliseum. Um, if you don't know what Capsule Monsters is, it was a little tiny, uh, I believe it was a little game that they played inside of, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Didn't really mean that much or whatever, but, um, <laughs> no one really liked, uh, how they did that in the series. They had throw in little games like Dungeon Dice Monsters or Capsule Monsters or whatever. Um, The Great Escape for the PS2 actually made about the, uh, 1950s, 1960s movies starring Steve McQueen. I always had, had like a famous motorcycle chase at the end of it. And we got Ultimate Spider-Man. Oh Just came flying out of that one. There we go. PS2 complete. Got Rayman 3, Hoodlum, Hoodlum Havoc. Classic Ubisoft series. Probably one that they were originally known the most for, the Raymans. And we got uh, a LucasArts title, Escape from Monkey Island. Uh, I, th I believe this is a really good game, actually. It's a, very cla it's a really classic game. Now, the only disc only that we got was uh, Duel Monsters. Not 100% sure anything about the game, honestly. Uh, we just Hopefully we can maybe find a case for it just so we can make it complete. Another Marvel game, uh, Wolverine Revenge, that's complete. 
go. And a ghost, a Tom Clancy Ghost Recon. There we go. Yeah, complete. Oh, a lot of these were complete in really good shape. Edos, Edos game, Project Eden. Uh, don't know much about this title, actually. Yeah, it is complete and everything really cool. Anytime we get a chance to add a bunch of PS2 games to our collection, we'll jump at the chance just because we love we love the PS2 as a console. Next, uh, Treasure Planet, our Disney title. And like most of them were um, the black labels. Not a whole lot of great hits in the set, which I love, which is uh, always better to see. Hmm. Then we get the originals and the re-releases. King Kong, uh, actually made by Ubisoft. Complete. And Fantax Fantastic Four. Someone loved their comic book games. Complete and everything. Got all of it there. Now here's uh, a <laughs> little bit of dust on it. A game called Gadget Racers. I have a feeling it looks kind of like I don't know. It looks like uh, like a Micro Machines game to me. Complete and everything. Nice, nice. My nice might be a nice little racing game to give a play. And now we got Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius with a bunch of stickers on it. Complete and everything. It's got some points program a pr thing for Nickelodeon in there you can redeem. I don't think I'll be doing that. Now another Disney game. PK Out of the Shadows. Another game by Ubisoft. There we go. And we have Spider-Man, the original one. Uh, probably we already have this one, but we, what we had was the Greatest Hits. So we'll go ahead and keep the black label and sell the Greatest Hits one. Next, uh, we got uh, Superman, uh, Shadow of Apoc Apocalypse. Uh, they spelled it wrong. Uh, Atari, made by Atari. Pretty good game. Guess. Uh, got it all complete there. And yet another comic book game. X-Men Next Dimension. Complete. A Marvel game. And continuing on with the movie games, we got Shrek 2. Complete. That's for the GameCube, actually. Also, uh, Harry Potter. Chamber Secrets. I have no idea how these games play at all. I don't think I've ever owned a Harry Potter game myself. And Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Someone spent $37 on this at one point. It's kind of uh, out there. And The Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. I heard some of, the, I heard some of these old Lord of the Rings games are actually not very bad to play. For, for being movie games, was really good. And Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. Complete. There we go. And the Sega Classic, Crazy Taxi, Greatest Hits Edition. There it is, complete. And Dr. Seuss, The Cat in the Hat. Alright. Someone had a lot of faith in movie games. And a couple, really cool Armored Core 2, um, really uh, really good shape, complete. The manual, everything, uh, case was in good shape, Man uh, the cover was in good shape. This one was not so, did not fare so well. Legends of Wrestling, all <laughs> the case is all taped up, complete though. Did come with the manual. And a game that I didn't even know existed. Jack X Combat Racing Naughty Dog Awesome No, not complete I would imagine it's just something similar to like uh, Crash Team Racing You know, it's kind of like a not a game that they just turned into a Mario Kart clone kind of Ace Combat 5 The Unsung War Namco game uh, it is complete. Everything is cool. 
and some more movie titles. Got The Incredibles right there. Complete. And Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Complete. And ah, I actually owned this game back in the day before I probably traded it. Smackdown vs. Raw 2006. So we've got Batista and John Cena on the front of that thing. I had always had a lot of fun with the, with the old wrestling games. And whew, an Interplay game and Inter Interplay and BioWare. MDK2 Armageddon. Uh, I lost words for this one. Uh, it's Interplay, so I kind of think it'd be a strategy game, but um, it's kind of like a full like a full 3D um, RPG kind of, and Superman Returns, uh, not complete, go, and one of the ones I was really excited about getting was Red Dead Re uh, Revolver, Rockstar game, sequel to Red Dead Redemption, which I love, I love Red Dead Redemption, so much fun, open world game. Um, but Red Dead Revolver really didn't get the press or the uh, recognition that Red Dead Redemption did. And the last one is SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Alright, we have this for the GameCube. Um, it's really cool. It's uh, really good shape complete. We'll be happy to get that one on the shelves. Alright, so that's actually it. Got 49 games for 40 bucks. Really great deal. I mean, paying less than a dollar a piece. So anything, <laughs> they're all worth the least. A dollar. I mean, the gold compass is worth at least a dollar. Come on. So uh, that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and hey, have a nice day.